Hey, hello again, friends. Today I'm going to explain how we can get started working with CSS. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. CSS is an acronym for Cascading Style Sheets. We're able to apply CSS properties to color, style, or otherwise decorate our HTML markup. There's three different ways in which we can apply CSS. Inline, internal, and external. We'll begin with inline. Suppose we have an h1 header tag with the title of this is my website. Let's create a few paragraphs. We need a pair of paragraph tags. We need some sample text. I'll type lorem, then tab. I'll copy this paragraph, then paste three additional paragraphs. So we have a total of four. To apply some CSS styling to one of these elements, for example, the body of our document, we'll select the opening tag, set the style attribute to B, we can list one or a few CSS properties. Let's change the background dash color of our body to be black. The background is now black. Let's change the font color of the H1 heading. Style equals color, that's for the font color. Let's pick white. Then we'll do this for the paragraphs. This is an example of inline CSS. Within the opening tag of one of your elements, you can change the style attribute, then list one of many CSS properties. Another method of applying CSS is internal, as in an internal style sheet. I'll undo the style attributes. To apply an internal CSS style sheet within the head of our document, we need a pair of style tags. Whatever elements you would like to apply CSS to, you would list that within the style tags. If I would like to target the body of my document, I would type body, then a set of curly braces. List your properties between the set of curly braces. Let's change the background dash color of the body of my document to be black. Let's change the H1 heading, H1, curly braces. Then I will list some CSS properties, color, white. Then let's change the paragraphs, P, curly braces. We're selecting all of the paragraphs, color, white. So that's an internal style sheet. Within the head of your document, you need a pair of style tags. List the element you would like to select, add a set of curly braces, then list one or many CSS properties. Let's remove the internal style sheet. Now we'll create an external style sheet. External style sheets are probably the most popular method because we can make a style sheet that's reusable. To create an external style sheet within our website folder, we're going to create a new document. I'll name this document style.css. We need to link this style sheet to our HTML file. We can do that within the opening head tag by using a link tag. We need to set the relationship attribute to be style sheet. We're letting the web browser know that we're linking a style sheet. Then we need an href attribute set to the relative file path of our style sheet. They're right next to each other. I only need the file name, including the extension style.css. We have now linked this style sheet to this HTML file. Using this external style sheet, we can select specific elements from our HTML file and apply CSS properties. We will select the body of our document, body, curly braces. I would like to change the background dash color to be black. Let's change the color of the H1 header tag, color, colon, white. Then the paragraphs. P, curly braces, color, colon, white. If you do need to apply CSS properties to one specific element, such as this first paragraph, we can create an ID within the opening tag. ID equals, think of some unique name. I'll name the first paragraph P1. Let's do this with the other paragraphs. The second paragraph will be P2. The third will be P3. The fourth will be P4. I'm going to delete these lines. To select an element by ID, you'll use a hashtag. 
then the ID. So P1. What would I like the color to be? Let's change the color to red. I'll select another ID. P2, curly braces. I'll change the color to be orange. P3, color will be yellow. P4, color will be green. You can also apply CSS properties by a class, a group. Within each of these paragraph tags, I will add the attribute of class. The first paragraph will be odd. It's an odd number. The second paragraph will be even. The third paragraph will be odd. The fourth paragraph will be even. To apply any CSS to a class, you'll type dot, then the name of the class. Any elements within the odd class, let's change the color to be red. The first and the third paragraphs are both red because they belong to the odd class. We applied the color red to anything within the odd class by using dot, then the name of the class. Let's change any elements within the even class to be blue. If we're selecting a class, we type dot, the name of the class, even in this case, we'll change the color to be blue. The second paragraph is blue, along with the fourth. They're both part of the even class. Another nice thing about external style sheets is that you can apply them to more than one HTML file. Let's create a second HTML file. I'll name the second file page2.html. To generate some boilerplate HTML within VS Code, you can type exclamation point, then tab. I'll open page two with live server. This is page two. Uh, I'm just going to copy all of this and make a few changes. Paste everything within page two. Let's change the title to be this is page two. And we have three paragraphs this time. We have our index file and page two. To link an external style sheet to page two, again, we need that link tag. Set the relationship attribute to be style sheet. Then the href attribute will be the relative file path. They're right next to each other. I only need the file name, style.css. Now, when I save and refresh the page, we have applied all of our CSS from the style sheet to page 2.html. External style sheets are reusable, so they're pretty nice and convenient. All right, everybody, so that is an introduction to CSS. With CSS, you can change the font, the color, add decorations. We'll get more into that soon. You can apply CSS inline with an internal style sheet or external style sheet. And that is an introduction to CSS.